In this video, you're going to see my previous Japanese apartment. You'll get a little bit of a Japanese apartment tour, as well as a redecorating video. Minasan, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I normally don't do a greeting in Japanese, but I am about to go into my Japanese lesson, so I thought I'd do a little bit of warm up. If you guys don't know me already, my name is Amanda. I make videos about Japan, about what's trending in Japan, uh, lifestyle in Japan. I'm also a teacher in Japan who isn't quite as jaded as some teachers may be here, but. Um, so I am a happy teacher in Japan. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please consider subscribing. So guys, welcome to my new apartment. But this video is not about my new apartment. It's about my old apartment, which I have already moved from. Today's video is a Japanese apartment makeover as well as a Japanese apartment tour video. Look forward to that. But first you need a little bit of backstory. So I took on this project back in April of 2020 when things started really going downhill. You know, everybody was starting to work from home, asked to stay home, don't go outside, don't do anything, right? But stay home, figure out what to do at home. So what I figured out to do at home was redecorate my apartment. I'm a naturally a very creative person. Um, I have an art and design background, so I was really excited to stay home actually because I could take on this big creative task of redecorating my apartment and making a video about it and becoming famous on YouTube. No. <laughs> no, maybe not famous, but you know, I really wanted to make a successful make Japanese apartment makeover video. Of course, um, my work asked me to stay home, which I did. I stayed home and about a month later, maybe even less than a month, I was asked to go back to work. So I didn't have as much free time as I originally wanted. And this project dragged on for about seven months. Yuji, however, is still working from home, which kind of changed the course of our future in a way because he was always working from home and us having a one LDK, which is equivalent to a one bedroom apartment, um, that wasn't working out because I had no alone time. I had no space to do anything. And so we decided to move, which kind of lit the fire under my ass and made it so like I hurry up and redecorate my apartment so I could move out of my apartment and still film this video and edit this video for you guys. Um, I, I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh. I'm going to link all the products I purchased down below. So if you guys are interested in those products, scroll below. I'm also going to be putting some stuff on my Instagram story. So if you guys are on Instagram, uh, check it out. Let's get down to the video. Let's rewind, rewind. <laughs> Let's rewind back to April of 2020. And I was filming with a different camera, a different lens. Uh, everything's going to look different, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next video where I, what's my next video? My next video will be my moving and new apartment video. So look forward to that and thank you. Bye. No one knows what the future will bring. So we've been trapped indoors for about two weeks now and it is never this messy. I kind of want to jazz it up and make it more warm toned. I need to do a massive redecoration, I feel like. I, I feel like there's bad energy. So I'm going to clean first, and then I'm going to do a little bit of decorating. originally from Ikea and this couch has a removable what is it sofa cover cushion things you know the covers are really expensive and they didn't have the color which I wanted which is yellow because now I'm fixated on having a yellow couch so I went on Amazon and I found this sofa cover and it looked nice in the picture the color yellow but the color yellow in person is not looking as nice as it did in the photos so now i'm excited to see how good it looks because i've never had a sofa cover before i think the yellow looks good on camera let's see oh muscle tie early light cleanse on jaw say my name or say it twice 
Okay, so about 20 minutes later, it's on. That was hard to figure out. All I can say is match the corners, start from the back, but that was a process. The good thing is, is I have a nice sunny yellow couch. I think it's cute and the fabric feels good, but we'll see how long it lasts. Now I'm gonna put some pillows on it. So this is one pillow I already have. This is the new pillowcase I got, which is really cute and pretty. Oh. All right, so yeah, my head is definitely getting a little bit wild, but this is not a beauty video, not a fashion video. It's a cleaning and redecorating video. As I said before, our inspiration for our living area is from a picture that I found on Pinterest. In that photo, there was a yellow sofa and a light pink carpet. I really like the balance of those two colors. I didn't think it was overtly feminine. Um, of course, I want to keep a nice balance between a masculine and feminine energy in our home because it is our home. I thought instead of a pink sofa, a pink carpet would spice. So yeah, I think even on camera it looks a little bit more purple. Uh, let's open it up and see because I haven't opened it and I've had it for about two weeks. I mean, yeah, I think it's a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as cool toned as I thought, which I'm really happy about because I did not want like a purpley pink rug. Let's see, can you see? Oh yeah, it's soft too. It smells kind of weird. I'm gonna lay this out and hopefully it's the right size. highly recommend the 3M double stick wall mounting tape because it doesn't damage your walls and in Japanese homes it's like really important to not damage the walls and as you can see I just kind of pulled it off and there's no markings or anything so this is what I really recommend but I'm not liable if you mess something up So yeah, I'm filming this in my shower room because I hate the lighting in my bathroom. There's no natural light that comes in. This is the only natural light there is. Ideally, I want to bring more plants into here. I want it to feel a little bit more in tune with nature. Um, dare I say it, a little bit more zen. I want my bath shower room to feel more like a spa, more relaxing, more in tune with nature. More of an exciting place to actually go to. Like, <laughs> So I'm going to put on some music and get started. You say you love him. Finally, the makeover is complete and we are walking up to my apartment. Yes, I'm doing a voiceover. Please bear with me because I'm not used to doing them. Welcome to my apartment. This is the Genkan, otherwise known as the entrance or foyer. Upon entering, you'll see some art pieces on the wall and a photo of Yuji and I with my parents at Venice Beach along with their little dog Coco. Just below that, I have this nice little quote that is a little bit cheesy but I still kind of like it. I also have this little place here where I keep things that I need to grab before leaving. Above this area, there's a cabinet where Yuji keeps his shoes. 
My shoes are kept in the actual shoe cabinet and honestly, I have way too many shoes. I also have some Sailor Moon artwork on the wall, which you guys have probably already figured out. I really love Sailor Moon. We have our umbrella rack in the corner because in Japan, it's very easy to accumulate many, many, many umbrellas. Oh, and that's my yoga mat. Haven't used that in a while. And this is the real star of the show, my living room. I think I was able to achieve the bright, sunny, colorful aesthetic I was aiming for. I don't know, what do you guys think? There's the adorable sunflower pillowcase I purchased from Shein. And the cat pillow you see there is from Ikea. You're gonna see a lot of black cat motifs throughout my apartment because it reminds me of my cat back home. Her name's Panda, I miss her so much. The flower art piece you see on the wall served as my inspiration for my living room and I tried to draw colors from it and scatter them throughout the space. Here are two Kokeshi dolls that Yuji and I painted ourselves in Guma. He painted me and I painted him and I think they're really adorable. This was one of my favorite things about my apartment, the view. On a clear day, you could see Shinjuku Towers and at one point you could even see Tokyo Tower. But unfortunately, they built an apartment there and now it blocks the view of Tokyo Tower. I can only see the tip. Here's Yuji with my cat panda. Oh, I miss her so much. These are two Omikuji, also known as fortunes, that we got on New Year's Day. Looking back on the last year, 2020, actually they turned out to be pretty accurate. On one of my side tables, I like to keep books that we frequently use or are currently reading. Of course, I have my Japanese language book. And yes, unfortunately, I'm still on book one. I know it's shameful, but the good news is I'm almost finished and ready to start number two. This is my plant. His name is Dumbo. <laughs> Underneath my other side table are the board games. I'm a big fan of board games and card games, but I don't get to play them as much as I'd like because it's usually just Yuji and I. Unlike America, it's not as convenient to visit your friend's home. Not many people drive, Ubers are controlled by the government and therefore aren't any cheaper than taxis, which are insanely expensive. On top of that, most homes are too small to entertain guests, so Sadly, they sit here collecting dust. Okay, this is my bathroom. It's unnecessarily large. Again, another black hat illustration on my wall. Also, I bought these racks from the 100 yen store so that they could hold our hair dryer and hair straightener. I think it worked out quite nicely. I changed the lighting on my vanity mirror because I hated the cool tone fluorescent lighting that it originally came with. I also changed out the white plastic shelving. Personally, I hate when anything looks too generic. This sort of vanity is very typical in Japan and I wanted to make it look a little bit more unique. Underneath the sink, there was no shelving whatsoever. So I installed my own little shelving contraption thingy that again, I purchased from the 100 yen store. You may already know this, but in Japan, we have what's called a shower room. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things about Japan. There is a shower separate from the bathtub and you never have to worry about getting your bathroom wet. Oh, and just so everybody knows, I never take a bath with rose petals inside. Although I wouldn't mind, I'm not living that kind of life yet. This was just for the aesthetics of the vlog. I got this bathtub rack from Amazon and I highly recommend it if you enjoy taking long baths. Okay, here is my bedroom. I didn't show this in the video, but there's actually a sliding door that separates the living room from the bedroom, but we usually never close it because the air conditioner slash heater is in the living room. If we close the door, it'll either get too hot or too cold, so we never close it. I got this comforter from, yes, again, Shein. And I got those two pillowcases from Shein as well. I can't help it, I'm a fan. 
Again, more black cats and a gyoza pillow. I got this gyoza pillow from a home goods shop similar to IKEA called Nitori. Our apartment actually didn't have much of a closet and doesn't really have too much storage space. So we decided to purchase this wardrobe from IKEA, which surprisingly enough, was able to keep both of our clothes without looking too junky inside. And another successful 100 yen purchase was those baskets sitting on top there. That kept our underwear and our socks. Here is the most inconvenient design element in all of my apartment. This obscure pillar that had absolutely no purpose. I had no idea why it was there. But on top of that pillar was our Google Home, some photos, a Sailor Moon illustration, I purchased a while back in Los Angeles, and some jewelry. Well, that's about it for my Japanese apartment makeover and tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below with your small apartment advice and maybe we can give each other some tips on how to live comfortably in tiny homes. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!